And there's the EUI polls as well. In the yeah. ANI polls, set as are today, there's an election today, which I'll be, will be my joiner. And Tinobu and Atiku will, 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 will have a will tie I don't want to, I don't, I don't want and, to sound... And in the EUI polls, I don't want to sound... As, I, don't, as I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound like a sore loser politician. Mm. But you see, when you run a poll, um, there are certain standards. If you run a poll of 1,000 people, 385 did not respond. Um, another about 100 are undecided, and another <laughs> 70. So half of the people you polled did not give a response. So your poll, what you should have done was to have you know, started the poll afresh. First of all, 1,000 is probably not even representative enough in a country of this many people. And then secondly, um, half of your poll respondents did not even respond. And then your poll has a minus 5 plus 5 uh, <laughs> uh, 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 margin of Indices. error, you know, but po so polls, polls, we see a lot of things that happen during polls, and then again, you know, we are still so far out from elections. We have um, about two cycles, we have about two quarters, mm, you know, to elections, election. about six months, roughly six months, elections hold in February. Yeah. We have the rest of this quarter, and then we have January, February, that's about five months to elections to run. We are going to see it's candidates. A long time to go. It's a long time to go. So candidates who, who can run the distance um, or who have the structure to run the distance um, will be the ones who will emerge top. So I think, you know, it's a, it's, I even think it's a bit premature for polls, to be honest. To be honest, because it's still so far out from elections. But again, so these are the kind of things. So the polls work, they do the polls, you know, at interval. Mm. So right now they've done one poll. Mm. At the current state hey, well, of the let's, Please, let's tell, the them, let's tell them to make it more representative <laughs> going forward. Let the polling be larger numbers. And if you don't have enough respondents, I mean, I'm a strategist. If I send my people out for polls and they bring those results to me, I'll reject that result. Mm. If you have a poll of 1,000 people and then you could not even get up to 500 respondents, there's no way that your, 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 um, your results would match reality. And what, you, what will happen to you as a strategist at that point is that you are working with false, you are working with false data, and that's just going to lead you to a lot of um, errors. So I think, you know... Permit me to digress a bit. You yeah. know, just tell, tell us a bit about um, what is your job as a digital media strategist? What does it, what does it entail? Ah, well, I mean... What, uh, do you, what do you do for Atiku? <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, we, 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 we see that we have, um, um, we, are trying, we want to connect with young people. And we know that digital media is one of the places where young people have a lot of conversation. Um, and I, I immerse myself in digital media. Um, I'm on TikTok also. But, okay. I, but I, don't, I, don't, I don't do any videos. <laughs> you don't dance I don't dance. <laughs> I don't dance. I don't dance. But I spend a lot of time on TikTok. I spend a lot of time on Instagram. I spend a lot of time on... I don't spend Twitter. as much time as I used to on Facebook. Um, and then I spend a lot of time on Twitter. And, also, and I'm also on Snapchat. You know, right. I want to know what's going on there. What are young people thinking? What are the trends? How do we harness these trends? What do these trends mean for, for governance? What do these trends mean for the politics? So I see what young people are doing. And because this has always been my passion... You know, I also see where, 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 where you know, this, there's this Pied Piper tendency of, um, you know, the, the fairy tale of Pied Piper, who he played the pipe and um, um, the rats in the city of Amalin followed him, he led them into the river, and when it came time to pay him, they didn't pay him, and then he went again, he played the pipe and took all their children and led all their children astray. Oh. I think that young people want to get involved with politics, young people want to get involved with governance, but I also think that what's going on here right now is a bit of a Pied Piper situation where somebody suddenly says, oh, structure doesn't matter. Look, 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 look. Mr. Man, don't act fresh. <laughs> don't act fresh. You've been a two-time governor. You led the PDP campaigns 2015 in the Southeast. You've been a vice presidential aspirant along with Atiku Abubakar. You know structures matter. Because structure, when we say structure is not something you bring from heaven, it's not angels coming to help you. Structure is people, okay? Look, for instance, in my polling unit on election day, I will have three agents oh. because there are three elections going on simultaneously. So if my party is buoyant enough to pay three agents, and yes, you have to pay agents, they would feed in the morning because if you don't give them money for food in the morning, it, the other party, APC, will give them food in the morning. So. 
you would have your presidential um, agents, you have your senatorial agents, you have your house of rep agents. Mm. Guess who's not going to have three agents on that day in my polling unit? Who is that? Labour Party is not going to have because they don't have any senatorial candidates. They don't have any House of Rep candidates. Well, you know, they may, they may have one. You have, so you have one. So you have one person for presidential, okay? Whereas I will have three. Oh. And you know what? Parties like Labour Party, to be honest with you, I mean, this is PVC loud. This is a program to absolutely. talk to young people. Yes, absolutely. What the big parties do, even when you have single elections, what they do, they look at, okay, look, you're a Labour Party. You guys, you know you're not going to win, all right? So let's, give, let's make our member your agent. Okay, accord party. You guys know you're not. Our member will be your agent. So on that day, at the, at the polling unit, you have five PDP agents under different political parties. Collaboration of, of, of yes. agents. So you party. suddenly see the guy who's an AA agent telling you that that vote, that vote was PDP. Now PDP get that vote. And you're wondering, what is your own? You're an AA agent. Why are you fighting for PDP? That's what you describe as structure, that network of people. Yes, you know? but, but, but I mean, we, we all know that politics, election is a game of numbers. Yes. Irrespective of the structure yes. anywhere in yes. the country. Yes. It's a game of numbers. Yes. If I can deliver, let's say out of 5 million votes in Lagos State, for instance, if I can deliver 5 million votes, whether they have come from anywhere, whether, they have, whether the other parties have agents, it, 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 it's, now, it's this immaterial. Is, this is the challenge. No, no, no. Sorry. I have just mentioned that 12 million newly registered voters have come up on for INEC PVC. 70%, over 70% are, are youths. These youths don't understand this agent matter you're talking about. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't see it. It's only politicians that understand <coughs> that there's polling agent, you have ward agent, you now have state agent. You see, you know, you see the we people, don't understand these things. The people we are battling. The people we are fighting against, the APC that we are up against, they are masters. Yes, but if you they are if masters you, of some play, certain if dirty play, games. If you play at this level, yes. and you play their game, you are likely to lose. No, 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 no. Why don't no, we play no, in a different way? No. You see, one thing that's going to make a difference next year is the Beavers system. Yes. But at the end of the day, there's a fault. Um, there's not a fault, but there's a loophole mm. where it's still somebody who's going to enter the Beavers numbers anyway. So if your agent is not making sure that yes. the correct figures are entered, you would have a problem. But apart from that, you see, all those numbers you are seeing, I can authoritatively say, I can't say authoritatively, but I can guess, PDP has more than 50% of that number. Look, I've seen PDP mobilize for elections. I've seen traditional parties mobilize for elections. People legit put, take the INEC agent and put them in their house and make sure that they are registering people. People do all sorts of things, you know, to ensure that they have the higher number of voters. In Lagos, we know what APC has been doing. The ordinary agro you are seeing on the street, they told these guys, if you do not present your PVC within the next three months, you'll be cut out of this system because you are a liability to us. You are not, we don't want to agree. All those things have now become reduced. This is what it means. Mm. So... But, 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 you know, but, you know, when you have this movement that's so optimistic and think, you know, oh, it's all about us, you're not really looking at the operations in depth and seeing that, oh, more, the people we are fighting, it's not just... And then, because I also understand how difficult it is to get people out on election day, like, if, if it is one of the most difficult things, because, you see, that day is just one day, and that day is a day of no movement, so there's no friend expecting you. Look, our young people, and I, I like the fact that, you know, this, is, um, this program is here to sensitize young people on some of the challenges that they might have. Um, and basically, I can say that, look, if you're a lady, your boyfriend might tell you, look, let's spend that weekend together. You know, it's a long weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So let's just chill. Yeah, but, but, uh, we don't need to go out. This was when people were, you know, a bit like a desiccal about that if, was you, see, you will look at yourself. Now. You will look at yourself and think my one vote will not matter. No, no, no. Because it happens a lot. The, it the, happens the activity on so Twitter, much. for instance, now yes. is like never before. No, but you see, you see, this is this is this is this is where the structure becomes important. Okay, so on election day in my polling unit, I know the people I'm going to knock on their doors. I know who I see between eight and ten. I know who I see between ten and twelve, and I know the old woman who doesn't come out until around two p.m. in the afternoon. Mm. And then everybody starts telling her, no, mama, come and vote APC. Mama, come and do. He said, no, this one I'm voting, this one this time around. Is that article I'm voting for? And then you dare not put her hand for any other party. If she says I'm voting PDP in this place, you... So we know 
the people who usually come out. Mm. Now, a lot of people come out and they spend so much time on the queue on election day. Um, and, and, and we have to tell our young people and prepare them for these things. That, look, if you're coming out on election day, don't, you, can't, you can't be on the queue and be thinking of the Netflix movie you're watching or the Netflix series that you're watching. You be on the queue, you stay on the queue. It's not going to be like fast food, 30 minutes, you're out. Nope. Sometimes you might be on that queue for two hours. Sometimes you might have disruptions, which is what APC usually does. You might have that. Don't be discouraged. Get back there. Make sure you vote. But, but, and don't just vote, but stand there and make sure that your vote goes from the polling unit, it gets to the ward level, and then you can say your work is done. But, that but is you the saw, work of you structure. Saw the NSAS movement. Yes. The NSAS movement was a thorough movement, tenacious movement. We were part of it. Exactly. And, and that movement needed no structure. Yes. These people came no, out no. from all over. Because, because it wasn't. No, there was, there was, no was, was, there was a lot of and organization. There was a lot of organization that went into it. Exactly. You know, the beyond what we saw. Because, because that's why Very I respect, that's why I respect um, um, the FEMCO, you know, the, right. that, uh, that organization. You know, um, um, at the end of the day, a lot of people took ownership of NSAS. You have people who took ownership of mm. it. But you see, when it comes to politics, there are people who have also taken ownership of that process, so to speak. I've been in politics for a while now. Um, and I mean, in my own area, I always take ownership for PDP, you know. And I'm not going to, I, I'm not convinced that you have a better candidate than my candidate. I believe my candidate is the best for the country. Mm. I believe he's the one who's all around most competent. And so I'm going to do everything possible to ensure that I deliver for him. So now it becomes a clash of interest. Now you have us. Now you have Labour Party. Now you have... Um, APC, and not to forget that you also have the likes of Kwakwa, and so you have the likes of Showorea, and so on and so forth. But the parties with the two biggest structures when it comes to it. So it's a different thing. That lesson, the lesson of NSAS, where for me it would have been, um, it would have been very relevant politically, would have been if that movement had come into an organized or a more organized political force. And you see someone like Rabi Kwakwa, and so he's one candidate that I respect a lot because he has shown. I mean, he's a PDP man. Yeah, he was. He was. He left, you know. But he has shown crazy resilience in his ability to build structure. One man defected from the PDP. The almost the PDP was paralyzed in that state. The Kwakwasia movement. The Kwakwasia. Once they pulled out, the PDP was paralyzed. We almost didn't get enough candidates to run in some places. You know, you had seven commissioners were resigning and leaving. That's somebody who knows how to build a structure. Yeah. So you see, rather than denigrating what a structure means, you should put in the work. To build the structure. The structure is nothing elaborate. It's just basically your ability to... I was talking about article earlier on, and I was saying that article has friends in every state. Um, if you are running for president and you don't have friends in every street, then, state, then you don't have any business running for president. If you are running for governor of Lagos State, you can't call one person and say, this is my guy in this local government. Now, there are politicians who will call people in your ward in this country. Now, they will tell you, where do you stay? What street? Once you mention the street, ah, two streets away, there's one forkanizer there. Sure that, that's the forkanizer. That, that's my guy. And you wonder, how does this man know the forkanizer in my area? And that forkanizer, because of that relationship, and that forkanizer will stand on the queue for six hours to vote for his guy. That forkanizer is the one who's telling people, come out and vote on election day. And then you, fresh face, every time. After time, you just retire. And look, please, what am I doing? And then you're telling people, come out and vote. They're looking at you like, oh, God, what's the problem? That today is a public holiday. Let me sleep in my house.